everyone, it's Jordan and Barry here, better known as the Brownstone Boys. We partner with Flagstar Bank on a five-part video series where we have walked you through everything you need to know about a renovation. We started with how to purchase a fixer-upper, how to budget a renovation, how to plan the renovation, how to tackle that kitchen renovation, and today we're gonna talk about our favorite part, all the really fun DIY projects we've done since we moved into our house. But stick around to the end of the video because we're gonna give you some helpful resources from Flagstar that can help you take a renovation journey of your own. Let's take you inside and walk you through some of our favorite projects. So let's talk DIY. DIY is scary for a lot of people, but there are so many different levels of DIY. I think it's important that we share some of our experiences with some of our favorite projects. Yeah, we always knew that there would be these projects that we came back to, either because we couldn't afford to do them or because we just wanted to live in the house and get a better understanding of what we wanted. And I think those have become our favorite spaces in the house because it's something that we put so much time and effort into and we made our own. So let's talk about one of the first DIY projects that we did, and that is the IKEA hack oh, yeah. dresser. I had the dresser in my previous apartment for, I wanna say four or five years. It was just a standard inexpensive IKEA dresser. And we knew that we were gonna put it into our vintage guest bedroom with that beautiful hand painted mural with the, all the vintage botanical flowers. You came up with a great design for it. And what we did was we cut the front of the drawers out to create like a border or a panel around it. and in the middle part, we put in a cane webbing, and then we just sanded and painted the whole thing in that beautiful color. The color obviously made a big difference, but then the texture that the cane webbing added to it, I think is what really makes it so beautiful and so interesting. And when our friends stay over, they really always comment on how much they love it. I'm like, sorry, you can't, you can't buy, buy it, this. But you can this build is a it. One of a kind. <laughs> and it, you know, it's definitely one of my favorite things in that room now, and it's just something that we love because we spent the time making it our own. So now let's talk a bit about medium-sized projects. I think our spoon flower wallpaper that we put in our entryway in our mudroom is a perfect example of a medium-sized project. Yeah, we had the little coat nook mudroom already, and we wanted to put a pop of color in that area, but we wanted to make it a little bit more of a statement. Yeah. Putting wallpaper up, it, it sounds intimidating and it sounds scary and we were scared a little bit, but it is something that you can tackle yourself. There are YouTube videos out there and it's just, it's a really fun project and talk about a transformation. I mean, the bright pop of color now is the first thing that you see when you walk inside our home. And wallpaper or different color paint can really transform an entire space. But wallpaper can always be added at a later time. So maybe live in your renovated home without the wallpaper, without the bright pops of color and see what walls are crying for attention and then adding that at a later time. I think one of our more difficult DIY projects was our full backyard transformation. The backyard is something a lot of our clients even wait on, right? So you get the house renovated, you can move into it, and then you tackle that backyard project. Yes, and we had bid out our backyard to several different contractors and the pricing was just outrageous. And it's something that we knew deep down inside that we could tackle this. You know, we came up with the design ourselves, lots of hard labor. I remember carrying the bags of sand and pebbles oh into the gosh. backyard. It was the first time we've ever used a jackhammer. We borrowed one from someone. We don't have one. We were able to remove the concrete. We were able to lay the leveling sand. We built a raised flower bed. And then we planted lots of flowers and shrubbery and things like that. And one of my favorite parts of that project is where we built the area under the stairs for storage. First of all, it hid all of the yard tools. We were able to hide all of that and create this little feature that's useful because we that's where our little planting station is. Yeah. I just love our yard so much. I love all the DIY projects, but that yard is really special. You know, you and I always are making our coffee in our kitchen and we have those beautiful windows that overlook our yard. I look at it pretty much every day and I'm like, you know what, we built that with our own hands. As you know, we have partnered with Flagstar Bank and we have already talked you through finding a fixer-upper, planning and budgeting your renovation, diving deep into the kitchen and your DIY projects. And we have found that they have been such a tremendous resource for us. 
One of the things that we found really useful is the Financial Resource Center at flagstar.com. It's a collection of articles and tools that guide you through every step of your financial journey, including buying a home and going through a renovation. So we're gonna drop the link in the description below. You'll definitely want to give a good read through. We have found it such a tremendous resource. Check out Flagstar Bank at flagstar.com. Also check out Flagstar's YouTube channel for financial tips and tricks. Also, if you have any questions at all, put them in the comments below. We're going to do our best to answer every single question that we get. Also, subscribe to our channel because we have some really fun house tours coming up that we can't wait to show you. And until then, we'll see you next time.